Hey guys, welcome back. Matt and I have been out here today cutting and splitting wood for the winter. And we just thought we'd do a quick video on a chainsaw, just kind of basic starting instructions. It could be for somebody who's never used one or somebody who's maybe just not been taught the right way. And we're gonna kind of talk about this particular chainsaw today because it's what we use. It is a steel, it's an MS290, it's a farm boss. Been a good saw for us, one I've had for about 18 years and have just had no problems with it at all. Uh, so we wanted to just give you a close up here of how this works. Every chainsaw is gonna be a little different, but it's the same basic principles of an engine. Uh, on this, they call it the smart carburetor. And this switch here, we'd need to click all the way down to that very far bottom position. And then we'll go ahead and pull and you'll see what happens here. It'll start to kick in and then we know to click it up to the start position. And then once in that start position and it's running, we'll grab the trigger and it'll just sit here in this ignition position and idle. So you heard that start to kick in. We're gonna go ahead and kick the choke up. This will give it a little fuel. This saw, um, we've been using it most of the day and you'll notice this chain's a little bit loose. This is a pretty big safety hazard. We wouldn't wanna use the saw with the chain this loose. So on this particular saw, you'd go ahead and loosen both of these nuts and use your chain adjustment tool here to tension this up. You want it to ride fairly tight to the bar with just a little bit of slack below. And you wanna be able to move that freely by hand here on the rollers. You don't wanna tighten it so much that you can't Take the brake off here and show you that you can't roll it around those rollers. It needs to roll freely but not have sag like this and it needs to be tight. You need to make sure that it is up inside that bar. So again, this is just a quick video on how to start a chainsaw properly. And uh, we'll go ahead and we'll do something in the future uh, just about the operation of a chainsaw, how to do that safely. Remember, always use good safety equipment. Cover your eyes, cover your face. If you can get some chaps, cover your legs, because these things can be deadly. They can kick up, they can kick down. Always make sure when you're cutting, just to check your logs for any metal, check for any stones, anything like that that could cause your chainsaw to, to come back towards you, because that'll end up in the hospital. So yeah, we'll catch you guys next time. Mm -hmm.